Madam Chairman, I'd like to say a few words before we vote. During uh, Governor Granholm's testimony, she stated that she understands the need for American energy dominance and American energy innovation. She agreed it was a good thing that the United States is the world's leading producer of oil and natural gas. She agreed that lower energy prices and high-paying energy, American energy jobs were good things. And Governor Granholm agreed that American fossil fuels being exported around the world helps keep America an influential energy superpower. I was encouraged to hear her commit to the development of carbon capture technologies and advanced nuclear power. Carbon capture, utilization, and sequestration and nuclear development hold the keys to significant emission reduction. So she also rightly recognized the need to support America's uranium production and supply of, criminal, of critical minerals. These are prime examples of areas where there's bipartisan agreement on how to address climate change. For these reasons, she has the votes to clear this committee and be confirmed on the Senate floor. I expect we're going to work together closely on these efforts uh, when she is at the Department of Energy. Gen uh, Governor Granholm also stated multiple times that she didn't want to see anyone lose their job or get left behind. But this is precisely what the Biden administration is doing. By signing executive orders to ban oil, gas, and coal production on federal lands, to kill the Keystone XL pipeline, and to rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement, the president will throw thousands of Americans out of work. Their livelihoods are being sacrificed in the name of the Biden agenda. The Biden administration is telling these oil rig, coal mine, and well workers that they can simply get new jobs, quote, building solar panels. In the words of John Kerry, these policies will give these workers, as he said, better choices. Well, in 2019, the average salary of an energy worker in the oil and gas and coal industry was roughly $75,000 a year. Average salary of a solar panel installer, about $45,000. So if the Biden administration gets its way, it will give every worker, an energy worker, a better choice of taking a $30,000 pay cut. Um, that's even if the jobs exist. To that point, the Washington Post fact checker said John Kerry was offering, quote, false hope with a misleading use of statistics, close quote. So we've heard this all before when President Biden was vice president. It's called the Cylinder Syndrome, millions of green jobs that never materialize. The Washington Post fact checker said it expects just 10,400 new wind and solar jobs over the next 10 years. In Wyoming alone, a ban of oil, gas, and coal leasing on federal land could result in 33,000 workers losing their jobs. Where are these workers supposed to go? How will they provide for their families? As I said at the governor's nomination hearing, I will not stand by as the Biden administration tries to crush Wyoming's economy. Tens of thousands of workers in other states like New Mexico, Texas, Colorado, and Montana will lose their jobs as well. The leasing ban will also cut hundreds of millions of dollars that are used by states to pay for public schools, for roads, for bridges, and other essential services. I can't support a Biden administration agenda that throws my constituents out of work and kills the economies of the communities in which they live. During their first week in office, President Biden and his administration have declared war on American energy. I can in good conscience vote to approve his nominee for Secretary of Energy, and for that reason, I will not support the nomination.